Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss types of composites in material technology. Now, let me discuss the various types of composites in material technology. So a lot of composite types are available in which we will discuss some important composite types. See, in these days, we are very much interested, that is, as a production engineer, so many people, they are interested in composite materials. Why? Because it is having a lot of advantages. See the classification here. The composites are mainly classified into particulate reinforced composite material, fiber reinforced, and structural composites. The particle reinforced composite material means if the particles are added as a reinforcement, then we can say that it is a particulate reinforced composite material. Anyway, it is uh, depending on the particle size. Again, it is uh, divided into large particle reinforced composite material and dispersion strengthened. So that means uh, how the particle is dispersed, how the particle is distributed in the material. So it depends on that, uh, the particle reinforced is uh, again divided into dispersion strengthened composite material. The second category in composite material is Fiber reinforced composite material. Fiber reinforced composite material means it is a the shape of the reinforcement is in the form of fiber, like a thread. That means if you add a thread in the composite material, that is like a thread, the second material has a thread, then the strength will increase. Compared to the particle reinforced composite material, it is also having a lot of strength and it is a vastly used fiber reinforced composite material in all the industries and not only in a single industry that is uh, in especially in structural world they are utilizing the fiber reinforced composite material the best example is concrete concrete is the best example for fiber reinforced composite material and we can see the second material see is uh, sometimes we are adding the steel the complete steel rods we are adding as a second reinforcement in the pillars so that is one type of composite and stones are added as a mixture that is a reinforcement in the concrete so that is called as a particulate reinforced composite material now let me explain the fiber reinforced composite material is divided into continuous and discontinuous Continuous and discontinuous means if the fiber is a continuous, that means a long thread is used as a reinforcement, so that can be represented as a continuous reinforcement, a continuous fiber reinforced composite material. If it is a discontinuous, that means if the short fibers are used, then that type of composite material is represented as a fiber reinforced, that is a discontinuous fiber reinforced composite material. Anyway, it is uh, again classified, that is, uh, depends on whether it is uh, aligned or randomly oriented. Depend on the requirement, sometimes it depends on the customer's uh, required properties, uh, we can go for the aligned uh, short fibers or randomly oriented short fibers. It completely depends on the requirement. Now, the third category in composite material is structural composites. The structural composites are the laminar composite materials are again divided into laminates. That is here, the laminates, that means layer by layer, we are adding the material and we are forming as a composite material. One layer is made with a different material, another layer is made with a different material. So these type of layers depends on the required strength. We can go for the structural composite material. The next one, the same structural composite that is a laminar composite material is again divided into sandwich panel. Sandwich panel means two layers are of same side, and in between that another reinforcement is available. That is represented as a sandwich panel composite material. So these are the three classifications. There is a particulate reinforced composite material, fiber reinforced composite material, and structural composite material. So these are the three in general basic composite material types with which we can make the materials in different forms. It depends on the required properties. 
now first to see the particulate reinforced composite material so particulate reinforced composite material means particles are added to the composite materials that means the second material the reinforcement if it is in the form of particle then we can say that it is a particulate reinforced composite material one form of composites is a particulate reinforced with concrete so that means the concrete is a being a good example here uh, fibre has also sh shown and in the same concrete we can see the particles here the concrete mass so these particles a uh, lot of stones are available here these stones are represented as a particles which are added in the concrete so the same concrete can be taken as an example for the particulate reinforced composite material as well as fiber reinforced composite material so that means if you take these stones as a second reinforcement then we can say that composite as a particulate reinforced composite set if you take the fiber as a reinforcement that is as a second material then we can say that composite as a fiber reinforced composite material you can see here this is a concrete product and in this uh, the steel rods are placed so this is uh, we can say that it is a continuous uh, fiber reinforced composite material and at the same time some stones are mixed to manufacture that to produce this particular concrete so this is also an example for the particulate reinforced composite material and you can see this uh, all the rods are available and it is induced in the concrete mixture so that means the total load whatever the load given to it is taken by the these fibers that is uh, steel rods they will act as a reinforcement it will increase the strength so this is a fiber reinforced composite material and it is also an example of particulate if you see the various stones so, so these aggregate of coarse rock or gravel is embedded in the matrix here so that means that these aggregate provides the stiffness whatever the stiffness that you want you can get the stiffness and the strength while the cement act as the binder to hold the structure together so to hold the structure one must be act as a binder here suppose if you take this type of powder the cement acts as a binder to hold the structure that is in the structures it will hold as a binder and especially if you see the various features of the particular drain force composite material the particles can be very small particles maybe sometimes it is less than 0.25 microns and uh, chopped fiber suppose uh, glass pellets hollow spheres or new materials such as bulky balls or carbon so so many examples are available in each case if you take any case here the particulates provide the desirable material properties and the matrix what are the matrix that you have taken act as a binding media so that means all the particles has to stick together and has to give the strength to the material whatever the necessary for the structural applications whatever the necessary strength required by the material these uh, reinforcement will give so this is uh, about particular reinforced the next one is uh, fiber reinforced as we have seen the concrete um, shape in that steel rods uh, are aligned here that means if you add the second material as a fiber that means in the form of the thread so then that type of composites are represented as a fiber reinforced the composite material sometimes it is a continuous that means the fiber may be continuous so sometimes it is aligned the the fibers uh, whatever the fibers that you have taken no longer there is how suppose it is a longer than the critical length the critical length means which is the minimum length necessary to have the load the entire load if it is on the material it has to bear it so how much length is required so that length you have to represent as a critical length here so that means if there suppose if you have calculated critical length for a particular material and anyway one thing i want to say the critical length varies from material to material if they are started than the critical length only some of the load is transformed that means what are the material that you have taken if you want to add as a reinforcement so it must be matched to the critical length if it is shorter it will be no longer works for its purpose and in general the length of the fiber is almost greater than it is a 15 times the critical length 
so considered as a optimal so then it will bear uh, the total load see the condition is the critical length the length we are not supposed to take the less length than the critical length but you can take the maximum length that is more than the critical length that is accepted and that is the allowable length and what are the aligned and continuous fibers give the most effective strengthening for fiber composites you can see the difference here this is in a longitudinal direction this is the perpendicular to longitudinal or perpendicular to the material is a transverse direction all the fibers are arranged like this you can see here it also all the fibers are arranged but compared to this this is a shorter fiber short fibers and here they are not aligned see when depends on the requirement depends on the properties required you can go for the continuous fiber reinforced composite material or discontinuous it is almost not aligned composite material so both can be used for different purposes both are ways already they are available in the market now you can see in another manner this is a discontinuous and randomly oriented this is a discontinuous and aligned and this is a continuous and aligned that means a longer reinforcement there is a longer thread is available here this is a fabric this is the best example how it is useful for the reinforcement how the reinforcement is useful and the next one is the third type is the structural composites structural means it is by layer by layer in general what are the structural composites that you have taken the both homogeneous that means what are the layers that you are going to take that must be homogeneous that means almost have the similar type of properties and of the same nature these properties what are the properties that you have taken and after that if you calculate that completely depends on the characteristic and the constituent materials as well as the geometric design so that means if you want to maintain a homogeneous material all the sandwich material or all the layered materials must have the different properties and all must have the same properties and the characteristic properties of the constituent materials we have to check all these properties to have the layer composite material that is a structural composite material you can see the two types are here one is a laminar composite and the other one is a sandwich panel if you see the laminar composite material in general it consists of a panels like this sheets which are in general two dimension these panel actually possess a preferred direction to achieve the high strength you can see here you can see all the directions are aligned so by keeping this type of arrangement you can make the laminar composite material or if you want if the both the sheets are of same material in between if some other material is available then we can say that it is a sandwich material sandwich in general just now we have seen the sandwich material two layers of same shape the middle one is of another shape and another material so in general it consists of faces and core whenever the suppose the thickness of the core it increase the thickness of the core generally its stiffness also increase as seen in the most common cases that is especially honeycomb sandwich i will show you how the honeycomb sandwich looks like and the faces here in general they are formed with two strong outer sheets and core is always less than the dense material so let us see the honeycomb structure between two layers so this type of structure will give the maximum advantage compared to the any other material so these are the face sheet this is the bottom sheet and layer by layer some other sheets has came so this is a laminar composite material this is like a fabricated sandwich panel so the top one and the bottom one are of same material but the middle one is of with different materials if this is the arrangement then we can say that it is a sandwich type of composite material so this is all about the various composite materials there is a types of composites in the next sessions we will discuss some other technological points in material technology so this is all for today thank you thank you one and all